Shalom, giving all praise and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakarium Shah, Yasharela. That's peace to the hopeful elect, the election of the nation of Israel, ordained and predestined to be saved in these last days. Who is blind is my servant, Jacob. The Lord said he kept a remnant for himself. Romans 11 and 7. And the rest were blinded. Who can't see this prophecy? It's here. And the water, Abba Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, for the apostles of Great Millstone, starting with Apostle Tahar on down, who held nothing back, who holds nothing back from us, who gave us the truth through you, Yahweh Shah, through the Holy Comforter, who opened our eyes and ears to receive it from our apostles at this time. You can't have the mark of the beast without the new world order. The whole idea is the mark of the beast will not be able to buy or sell mm -hmm. just as predicted in the Bible. Yeah, and we're, we, this is not some out there scenario. It's like this is happening. Oh, for sure. And I feel like we're, it's that, that picture of like the frog in the kettle and it's just getting warmer and warmer and we mm -hmm. don't realize yeah. it until it's too late. Oh, we're sure. in this boiling pot. Yeah, well, in America specifically, because <laughs> if you're in China already, they already have that, um, database they yeah. track every movement yeah. you're on a score like how well you're doing in the system right and so it's already happening in other places it's, yeah it's just slowly trickling in here and to the people that aren't aware and i would like, say faster than you know people are well, that too i feel like it's like accelerated accelerating right now. and i sure. feel it's like on every single level yeah um for this to be you heard what she said. so that every said, Let me rewind that part single of human being in the system. Right. And so it's already happening in other places. It's, yeah. It's just slowly trickling in here and to the people that aren't aware. And I would like, say faster than, you know, people are. Well, that too. I feel like it's like accelerated. accelerated right now. It has. It's called gradualism. But they're at a point where the Lord going to push this thing. Because when you read Matthew 24, the Lord said he's going to cut this thing short. So the time is speeding up. So it is happening fast. And Apostle coined this year, the hopeful year of all the prophecies being fulfilled. Hey, will the Lord cut this thing short in 12 months, man? Because we are speeding. All we need is that false flag event. Well, it's like on every single level. Yeah. Um, for this to be all set in place so that every single human being on the face of the planet would have to take this specific mark that and we're talking about. Said, every single human being on the face of the planet. We're going to get that scripture in a minute. Do you see, like, there's supermarkets now here that are actually, you have to walk through this, where there's sensors, yes. and they're, they're starting to close off the entrances, yes. and you have to go specifically through these stores. Yes, I mean, and even yeah. cashless, like cashless mm -hmm. airports, where, the coffee shop, the we coffee were just shop. in, the sign, cashless, yeah. you know, because they can't actually. And that's what got to come uh, first, the CBDC system, Central Bank Digital Currency System. It starts in March, I forget the exact day, but it's next month. They call it a test run. Now, they just did the 12-week test run that started in December. So, they're they moving into this uh, the CBDC starting next month. So, that got to come right before the uh, mandatory implantation of this grain of rice. And, whoo, boy, we're going to find out. We're going to find out if the apostles of Great Millstone or the prophets of the Lord who've been holding who've been holding close and stern to this understanding for uh, many years and been pushing it and stayed, stayed firm. They stayed solid on this issue and it's proven to be correct. Those apostles were right. You know, so it's moving fast. No, where you're spending your money on it's cashless. So um, it's to monitor every, so this is, taking place all around us right and it is let me let me get a scripture real quick you know this is uh like she said all around the world in the orca many sense this is the hour we living off miracles right now that's what we looking for miracles man because they're gonna shut these doors so your faith gotta be right with our lord 
I'm going to read it in the uh, NLT. This is Revelations 3, verse 10, NLT. Because you have obeyed my command to preserve, I will protect you from the great time of testing. And this is going to be a test. Will you break? Will we make it? Is the Lord on our side? This is the great time of testing that will come upon the whole world. As she said, you're almost up to eight billion and a half people right now. The whole world's got to go through this to test those who belong to this world. Do you belong to this world? Or your faith is sealed with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at this time. Because this thing is moving. Let's get the penalty for taking it for those that don't know. This is Revelations 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast, what's the beast, man? The whole system right now. How do you worship him? By pledging your allegiance through this grain of rice, allowing this to go into your body so you can stay on the grid. It's as simple as that. You want to keep the show going. You like the clubs. You like the schools. You like the malls. You like the pizza shops. You like going into Whole Foods. You like the Amazon. You love the 15 minute cities. You in love with the system, your job, you know, your woman. You in love with this system. What we're going to see is the time of testing for those who belong to this world. Do you belong to our Lord, Yahweh Shah? Do you belong to this world? It's about the show, man. So it says, if any man worship the beast, his system, and his image, right? And receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. If you take it in the forehead or in the hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation. That's the bombs. That's that final judgment. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. Because they're going to be looking from what they call them right now, UFOs, which are the chariots of the heavenly father. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest, day nor night, who worship the beast and his image. See, the beast and the image go together. And whosoever receive the mark of his name and the mark of his name. So if you take that karagma, right? You got this man's uh, uh, vibration on you. You got his name and you got his 666. It's a package deal. As you see right there, the mark of his name. Meaning you want to, you want to, you, 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 you belong here. You consider the new world order your new masters. But that's the penalty. And like the apostles been bringing out, some Akim going to lose their head for not taking it. Let's just get that. You know, they're going to come after the ones. So those that's out there, you know, that know you're not going to take this. And y'all about Shimei Abishai be with us. If we're going to be martyrs for this, man, because this is this is serious business. They coming after those who stand against it. Mm -hmm. Let me see. This is uh, Revelations 20, verse 11. And I saw a great white throne and him that sat on it. Right. This is our Lord in rulership from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. <laughs> That's the running when you read about it. And um, what's it? I think it's uh, Revelation six. And no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before Yahweh. And the books were open. And another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead was judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And the dead in hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to his work. Um, actually, uh, let me, let me, let me, uh, that's not it right there. Matter of fact, where is that? Where we at? Uh, but it's just such second death, uh, resurrections. 
Okay, here we go. We got to go up more. Let's go up to four. Rebel that was good, too. You know what I'm saying? The whole chapter is, is on point, but the, the verse that I want is the fourth verse. This is Revelation 20, verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they that sat on them, and judgment was given unto them. Well, yeah, that goes into uh, Matthew 19. The Lord told uh, the 12 disciples they should sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. And I saw the souls of them which were beheaded for the witness of Shah and for the word of Yahweh, and which had no not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So, <laughs> you know, some people are going to be martyrs for not taking this thing. The Lord means serious, serious business. So as you can see, this thing is moving quick. You know, we can all wake up tomorrow and just be offered this new world order system. They say the cash is done away with. We got to reset, you know, the system. The central bank takes over, you know, and it's going to happen as a thief in the night. The Lord said it. This is uh, Matthew 24. Uh, let's see here. 24. Let's start from verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. So the Lord's going to have to intervene, cut this thing short. Else no one will be saved. But for the elect's sake, the elect of the nation of Israel, those days should be shortened. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kakudash. Man, this thing is happening. It's going down. Akim Shalom.